Hey, what is happening, everybody? I'm Noah from TechnoBuffalo.com, and uh, Emily is over in London at Nokia World right now with the folks from Nokia's USA division. Uh, we're kind enough to invite us down to their Sunnyvale offices here in Silicon Valley so I could get a little bit of a hands-on preview, hands-on walkthrough of the new Windows Phone devices launched today in London, the Lumia 800 and 710. And I'm here with John Lockney, who is a senior product manager for Nokia in the Sunnyvale office, and he's gonna walk us through Nokia Drive, Nokia Maps. So with Nokia Maps, many people are familiar with Nokia Maps on our other devices, so we bring a lot of that to, to um, our device here on the Lumia 800, which is running Mango release of Windows Phone. And for the for the uninitiated, I should have done this in the intro. My fault. The two new phones, the 710 and the 800. Um, the 800, which you're holding, is the higher end, the flagship uh, Windows Phone Correct. Mango device. And then the 710, which is in my hand, uh, the slightly lower range of the new models. Right. Okay. So basically, with um, Nokia Maps, it's using vector graphics, downloading over the air, or you could download the maps and save it to your mass memory. So you could download the state of California, the whole country, or whatever region you want over Wi-Fi for free. And then it's resident on your phone, so you're not driving up data charges when you're roaming or anything. Right. So you can look up for points of interest, and um, you can find out about the restaurants that you would like and you have the 360 panorama view like on other Windows Phone apps so you can go and find photos, reviews, look at guides, see also other places that are nearby and again if there are photos it'll fetch photo, you can add your own photo, you can add your own review. So, so while it's very familiar to people who've used Nokia Maps before, at the same time we've kept the user interface style of the Mango release as well. So it's a great blending of both um, the Nokia software and also what um, Microsoft has done. So you can obviously search for places. If, if I can type right, it's always a little we, difficult. I, I came to the late session. You've been doing this all day, so. So you can search on San Francisco and it shows San Francisco. You can obviously zoom in, pan around, etc. Excellent. And this is just so to make it clear, this is a live demo, this isn't canned. We were we were playing with this just before and we are in Sunnyvale, we're at track two uh, via the GPS on the first the first launch. Exactly. So you click on there and it takes exactly where we are located. Great. Okay, so this is Nokia Maps. What does Nokia Drive do? So Nokia Drive so, so first let me mention Nokia Maps is going to be available for all Windows Phone devices so that if you, if you have a Windows Phone device from another manufacturer, you'll be able to download Nokia Maps through the marketplace for any Windows Phone device. Excellent. Um, any uh, availability estimate on that? Um, we will be launching our Windows Phone devices in November, so you can expect to see Maps available around the same time. Great. Nokia Drive, however, is exclusive to Nokia handsets. Okay. And Nokia Drive gives you free, unlimited, voice-added navigation worldwide. It uses the same maps as Nokia Maps, so if you've downloaded any local maps or any country maps, it's running off of those same maps. So it auto-locates you. You can go and set destination, so you can set to San Francisco. It'll search online. You select the location where you want to drive to. Obviously, it shows you is that the destination you want. It gives you for, uh, visual confirmation. Click on drive to. It shows you the overview of the route. We support traffic navigation as well. So if there's bad accidents or so on, mm -hmm. you can get some um, rerouting based upon local traffic conditions. It estimates the total um, distance plus the time of travel. And um, you can download over the air at voices. So you'll have a choice of voices, different languages. So if you're in a foreign, if you're in France, you can download English, for example. Right. Right now, I don't have it installed. So. Right, but it'll do uh, voice guided turn by exactly. turn the whole way. And um, you can do 2D or 3D depending upon your preference. Terrific. 
and so that way you get free voice-aided navigation for the life of your device. Right, right. Excellent. And uh, this is getting off topic, but just since we were talking about before and speaking of free things for the life of right. your device, uh, the Mix Radio service, if I have the name correct. Exactly. So, so to, today we also launched, launched in London Nokia Music for Windows Phone, which features the Mix Radio. Mix Radio will uh, give you free music streaming for the life of your device. And with that, we're having local content, local channel channels so when you are you know buying your phone and you're based in um, let's say Singapore there'll be local channels for music from Singapore as well as top 40 pop rock etc uh, Nokia obviously sells products worldwide and music is something that obviously there's always the sort of you know major stars and major hits but there's also a lot of local music right. that people feel really passionate about and we try to right. enable that and get people to um, be able to listen to the music that they love. I, I've been in a few bands in my day I've been very passionate about, <laughs> and only three or four people, and they were local, right. were also passionate, so I, I, I can extreme relate. Extreme local. Yeah, extreme local. Excellent. All right, so it's Nokia Maps, Nokia Drive, and uh, a little bit of talk about Nokia Music for Windows Phone on the new Lumia 800. Uh, again, uh, Emily went through this at Nokia World, but they launched the Lumia 800 and the Lumia 710, which you saw a minute ago, Nokia's first Windows Phone Mango device. It's certainly not the last. And uh, this phone will be available when? Uh, we've already started pre-orders for six markets in, the, in Europe, and we expect it to be available early November, and we will be having Windows Phones early in 2011 first quarter with uh, availability and exact details closer to the availability and launch. Of Q1 device. 2012 in the U.S. Exactly. Excellent. All right, from the Nokia offices in, uh, I have to make the joke because it's nice out, in sunny Sunnyvale, California. I'm going to check out the accessories next. It's uh, Nokia's big day, Nokia World, the launch of Nokia's Windows Phone Mango devices. The folks in the corner are waving. I'm Noah from Techno Buffalo. Much, much more on the launch, including uh, Emily Price's live coverage and hands-on with the new devices over on technobuffalo.com. Mm -hmm.